All right, so this is my review of um, HBO's documentary, Robin Williams Come Inside My Mind, I think it was. And it was, um, it was a really great documentary about a really great artist that I've always liked and admired. Stand up is survival. For me, that's jazz. That's what I have to do. The best thing about it was that it was sort of a documentary about all of us, in a way, because it shows the, the life of Robin Williams from the very beginning to the tragic end. He was really comfortable on stage, off stage. I just felt he was holding himself together. Then it... And I think that is what happens to everybody. So it was sort of an interesting watch in the sense that um, when you can see somebody's timeline or his sort of this sort of like a lifeline. So clearly you get to see all these highs and lows that a person experiences that are accentuated in this case because it's a great artist who was very successful in his life and in his art. Robin was doing drugs. It was fear sometimes to run away from it all, sometimes to run into it all. There you are, you've become a reformed alcoholic. You've got a steaming glass of Perrier going, I feel so much better about myself. My father didn't always feel he was succeeding, but he is the most successful person I know. It's, um, it's a really sobering realization when you start to understand that um, he died quite tragically and uh, basically, oh, not basically, but really actually lost everything that he had. And um, for me, that was really the part that um, got me thinking about my own existence and my own life. And what does the phrase that was so famously used in the Dead Poets Society about seizing the day, what does it actually mean? when time is speeding away towards our everybody's death basically so it was it was a really really good documentary and it um but i think the problem with this review of of that documentary is that it gave me this sort of an existential shock that kind of takes away from all the interesting events of Robin Williams's life. But I totally recommend watching it in both those senses. If you're interested in seeing how Robin Williams lived his life and how his um, um, career and artistic development happened, it's really interesting in that sense, and it's also really interesting in the sense that it is a documentary about the existential condition of humans in general. So yeah, that's my take on it.